Hi, it's Martin Ball, your Kangen Waterman, here today talking about installing the Enagic pre-filter kit. So what I've actually got is I've detached mine from my K8 unit. So when your uh, pre-filter kit comes, it's going to arrive with this base plate. It's going to arrive with a pipe and um, basically, obviously, the filters that you've ordered. So I don't use this pipe. And the reason for it is, is because the original inlet pipe, which was actually this one, already has the connection on the end and that's going to screw underneath into the unit so i'm going to get this out of the way but what you want to do is you want to get your ka and i've unscrewed this so there is a little bit of water coming out of my unit so as you can see there but basically what you're going to do is get your base here with the filters screwed in so that's the first thing you're going to do is get your filters you're going to screw them in now if you do have the fluoride reduction kit then my advice is to actually, where the water comes out the tap and comes in to the base, you're gonna to wanna to put the purple filter first. And the reason for that is, is that the water that's coming from the tap has lots of contaminants in it, metals and so on and dirt and grit. So really, if you want it going through the purple filter, because that's gonna help clean the water prior to going through the fluoride filter. The fluoride filter is a lot finer, so that means that if it gets clogged up with dirt and so on, it's just gonna be ruined very, very quickly. So you'll get more lifetime, better usage out of this, even though it's up to 2,000 liters, 500 gallons, or up to around about two months of use. So please pay attention to the literature on each of the filters because filters do have a lifespan not only in regards to water quantity through them but also time so make sure that you basically get the get your get this in place and put it behind the unit as to where you want it so that's first where you're going to go then what you're going to notice is this is this is this is the part that you're going to be cutting so this whole pipe was one was one piece like i just showed you before and you're going to chop it so if you get this in place and you're aware of where this is going to screw on, that's the length that you're going to be able to get. Now, to be fair, that is round about 150 mil. So six inches, something like that, maybe a bit bigger, maybe eight inches. So you're, you're looking at about, that's the length that I've got there. So I've just come along, I put it in place and I went, okay, that's got to connect underneath. It's got to screw underneath. Therefore I need round about this, this length. Now, once you chop it, you're better off chopping it with a bit more length so you can obviously cut it a bit shorter if you want. It's always better to be longer than shorter and being a bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do here now is, is once you've cut it and you're confident that when you've screwed it in and you've just done a dry test, and a dry test means you haven't connected it up and you're happy with it being in place, then go and boil the kettle. Boil the kettle and get, get a cup and pour the hot water, the boiling hot water in the cup and then get the ends of the pipe in there. And just be aware of your fingers that you don't burn your fingers but basically what you're going to do is leave it in for maybe 45 seconds, 60 seconds and then get it and then just start twisting it on. So what you've got to be aware of as you're twisting it on you want to make sure that this piece is facing up and not on the, on the unit like that, because otherwise you're gonna to have to twist the pipe to try and screw it in. So always make sure that's facing up, push it on, same at this end, push this end on. And remember, you've got to be aware, here you've got in and you've got out. So clearly it means water into the actual pre-filter and water out of the pre-filter. So please make sure that you get the right ends on the right ends, okay? So the right ends of your pipe on the right ends of the actual base plate. Now then, what I'm going to do here, I've got a towel with me because my unit's obviously dripping some water because it is actually my unit, <laughs> I've been using it. So I'm just going to turn this over here so you can see. Here's, here's, the, here's the connection where it goes into. So what I would be doing is I would be screwing that on there and getting that in place. And once, once it's there, I can just turn it to make sure that it's actually gonna be comfortable. And as you can see here, as I turn it around, mine, mine just sits very, very neatly behind. So that's how I've got it. Sits in there perfect, looks really good from a point of really neat because obviously when the unit's in place, that's all that you're gonna see. You're not even gonna see the pre-filters. So that's something to be aware of. Obviously the pipe's coming off there. Now then, 
What's important to also be aware of is that when you've connected up your pipes, you've got it all in place and you like the way it looks, the next step is to actually unscrew it. So come back to where we were. So I'm just going to put this on its side. Just be careful if, when you're doing it with the Kangen 8 unit because this lifts. So you don't want to be moving it around and it slides off and just smashes down. So just be aware, gently lower it, unscrew, go and then just lay that down on its side so just make sure it's safe obviously I've got the pipe leaning here it's just in case it goes that way but it's perfectly safe once it's on its side but what you've got to do now is the filters need flushing out so what you're going to do is you're going to connect this to your tap and you're going to run the water for around about two to three minutes and you're just going to hold this so it pours into the sink so I'm going to show you exactly how it's done right now. Okay, so now we are over this side now to actually connect it up. So I've connected it to the tap. Now, as I said before, be aware of the pre-filters that you've got. Figure out which ones you've got. If you need to speak to Enagic, please do so. But I'm going with the pre-filter fluoride reduction kit. So that comes with the purple filter and the gray filter. The gray one's for fluoride. Purple one, as it says here, triple sediment. Uh, KDF filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the yellow plug out the end and I'm going to screw it in place and then I'm going to get the grey fluoride one and I'm going to screw this in place as well. So now those filters are in. Now the next thing that I advise you do is get a marker pen and make a note of the date so you're aware when they were installed and you can keep track of when they need changing. Maybe put a notification on your phone or on the calendar uh, or in the calendar if you're old school. <laughs> and, um, and basically that's going to help you be aware of when you need to be changing the filters because remember it's important we're aware of the lifespan from a time point. So I'm just going to write the uh, numbers on now. So. Okay, so I'm going to get that out of the way. Now then, what I said earlier on, you've got to flush the filters. You don't want to be putting these uh, in place, connecting them under the unit, and then flushing them through. So make sure that you, even when you're replacing your filters, you're changing them over, you disconnect it from underneath, and you run them through. So basically, I'm going to get this in place now. And the water that's going to come through these is actually going to be pretty, pretty dirty. So you can see, it's um, like a, a, a milky grey, it's a horrible colour. So I'm just going to pour them through there. And what you're waiting for is you're waiting for it to go clear. It's going to take around about two to three minutes. It's a bit of a bugger because it does come through quite strong. And what you're going to notice as well is the fact that there's a lot of air, there's breakages in it as it's flowing through because it's pushing the air. It's pushing any uh, maybe fibres out that don't need to be in the filters anymore since it's been made. Really clean it out. So it's going to take round about two minutes to three minutes to give a good flush before you start to see that water go really clear. So that's why you can, you can tell. You don't want to be putting them in and just running the water through your unit because obviously there's a filter in your unit and the faster that that gets clogged up, the faster you're going to need to change it. So this is just actually helping, helping you get it um, all flushed out. I'm going to keep that running. I'm going to come back and just explain when I'm connecting the unit up. Thanks for your time and I'll speak to you in a moment. Okay, so here we have the water just finishing off. Been running now for about three minutes. So I'm going to turn that off. And now it's basically ready for the unit to come in. So I'm going to grab my unit. And then what I'm going to do is just basically get underneath my unit and screw, screw that um, pre-filter kit now in place. Powering off. Okay. Just always make sure it's on nice and tight. The first thing that I do as soon as I start running the water is actually... Uh, make sure I'm looking underneath and make sure nothing's leaking out. So I'll get her in place. Okay, so as I turn her on now, I'm gonna be going underneath and just making sure it's not leaking out from there. Now, no water coming out. 
So that's perfect. And that's how, that's how to install your pre-filter kit. So remember, every time you replace your filters, you need to unscrew it from the bottom, get your unit out of the way, put the new filter in, and then run the water through to make sure it's actually all clean. Once you've got clean water after a couple of minutes, then connect it all to the unit and it'll all be working fabby dabby dozy. So thank you for your time. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. As always, if you like my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you're following me at Your Kangan Waterman on Facebook and Instagram. And I look forward to educating you and helping you further experience the benefits of owning an Enagic unit and drinking Kangan water regularly. Bye-bye. Enjoying my YouTube channel? Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive further value.